Oh, I have an embarrassing story. Oh, go on. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's not yes. that exciting. You though. were nearly it's, out. The, oh, you were it's nearly very, out the door. It's very go dumb. It's on, uh, when I was on. when I was eighteen or nineteen. I had done this movie called The Descendants, and it was the first. I'd started acting when I was five. Great movie. It was George the, Clooney. Thank you, George Clooney. Um, it was the first time in thirteen years that like people were like, "Ooh, I can't wait to see what you do next," and like, "Who do you want to work with?" and all these very you know like cosmopolitan questions that I had never thought of as like some kid who loved acting but also loved like showing up to auditions with mud on my face and i remember i saw this movie called black swan yes. and i loved mm -hmm. it i thought yeah. it was so brilliant and at that point i'd seen like three movies in my life black swan being one of them and um so i did this interview and somebody was like you know what directors do you want to work with and i was like well you know like there's this guy named darren aronofsky who did this brilliant movie called black swan and i think he'd be pretty dope to work with right so cut to somehow I think like his aunt read the article and was like, you should meet with this. I can't remember like how it happened, but we ended up having coffee or lunch in New York and we sat down and we started like shooting the shit. And he's a really cool guy. I, I respect him a lot. And we started talking and he was like, so, you know, what directors do you like or what are your favorite films? And I was like, well, I, I don't really know anyone. Um, I don't really know a lot of directors. And. And he's like, well, what movies do you like? And I was like, well, you know, like Dirty Dancing and The Goonies and Pretty Woman. <laughs> but like other than that, I don't I haven't really seen anything. And he was like, have you seen The Godfather? And I was like, no. And he's like, have you seen uh, Annie Hall? And I was like, no. And, you know, he starts like listing all these movies that most people I think see. And he's like, have you seen Requiem for a Dream? And I was like, oh, that like really fucked up weird drug movie. <laughs> And he was like, yeah. And I was like, actually, I have seen that. Who directed that? And he was like, I did. And it was like my heart fell through my feet. Mostly not because like I was embarrassed that I had seen the movie. And I actually really enjoyed the movie. But like. I love that those are the only films you've seen by that point. You're like, Dirty Dancing, The Goonies, and Requiem for a Dream. If because you I'm like The up. Goonies and person. Dirty Dancing, you might also like <laughs> Requiem for a Dream. No, Amazon. Oh, I was so embarrassed that I didn't even have so the good. wherewithal oh, to Google God. an IMDb Darren Aronofsky before sitting <laughs> that with Darren weird Aronofsky. That druggy film. I mean, you weren't that embarrassed when we first met and we had the, our first ever meeting and at lunch I said, have you seen Clifford the Big Red Dog? And you went, oh yeah, I think I saw that piece of trash. That was one of the worst movies I've ever seen. How would a dog even be that big? It's so stupid. And I was like, Shay, I happen to be the star of Clifford the Big Red Dog. You're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Just, I'm so sorry. You are, not, you are not the star of that film. No, Al Pacino plays the dog and he is amazing. Oh.